Hey, this is Steve from Unexplored Films, and I'm back with another video. So one of the popular playlists on the channel is the mashup playlist, and a question I've been getting asked a lot recently is how I go about creating a mashup for film or TV, and what my edit process is. So to begin with, what is a movie mashup? Well, usually it's scenes from several different films that have nothing to do with each other combined into one video, attempting to look like they were all part of the same story. This is usually designed to create comedy because you've created a new meaning from elements that didn't belong together. So some of the mashups that I'm most well known for are Wes Anderson's The Shining, aka The Grand Overlook Hotel, which I made by cutting together Stanley Kubrick's The Shining with Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel. I also made one of James Bond, played by Roger Moore, blowing up the Death Star in Star Wars, and also a card game between Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan. Yes, I am a bit of a James Bond fan. And I've made various other different mashups over the years, and if you want to see any of these in full I will provide links below, or you can check them out in the mashups playlist. Now mashups are not usually a good way to earn revenue because the footage isn't yours, but they can be a very good way to get hired as an editor, as you are demonstrating what you can do with someone else's material. So how do you go about creating something like this? The first step is getting a good idea. A good place to start is to see what movie clips of your favourite films are already available on YouTube. For my Star Wars and James Bond mashup I almost completely based this idea on clips that were already available online. Now often clips of your favourite films might not have anything to do with each other, but you might be able to find a common theme, location or visual style that gives you the idea to link them together. The main thing that gave me the idea for blending together the Grand Budapest Hotel and The Shining was that Wes Anderson and Stanley Kubrick both very much enjoy symmetry and centre framing. These made many sequences perfectly possible to cut together while still maintaining a coherent visual style. I had enormous fun looking through the films for parts where people look like they're in similar situations or areas of the same building. Ray Fiennes can be interviewing Jack Nicholson, Bill Murray can be rescuing Danny Lloyd in the snow, and Jack Nicholson can be chasing Saoirse Ronan down a corridor. Just like the hotel setting in these two films, you might be able to find a common location that links two completely different films together. I selected Moonraker and Star Wars because not only are they both set in space, but Moonraker was clearly influenced by Star Wars which came out two years earlier, and there are some scenes that are shot and edited so similarly they were very easy to intercut. Both Goldeneye and Casino Royale had casino scenes where the actor sits at a card table. We used this card table idea again to get Sean Connery's James Bond to face off against Austin Powers. Scenes around tables are great for mashups in general, because they are usually filmed in a similar way. For my Made in Downton mashup, I took scenes from Downton Abbey and Made in Chelsea where characters are sitting round a dinner table, and once I experimented with intercutting the dialogue it suddenly seemed like they were all talking and looking at each other. For Hollywood or Bus, we took lots of scenes from films where characters are riding a bus, and cut them together to look like it was the same journey. This same idea could presumably work on many modes of transport, so all ideas welcome for the next one. You can also have fun with the same actor who has appeared in multiple different projects. For Walter in the Middle, we used Brian Cranston playing Walter White in Breaking Bad, cut together with Malcolm in the Middle where he also played a father sitting down to breakfast. Often these little links are all you need to join two completely different films or TV shows together. Another idea is not a mashup as such, but a re-edit of a single film to change its tone. I did this by taking Daniel Craig's 2006 Casino Royale and re-editing it to make it look like the 1967 spoof film with the same name. Music and sound effects in particular can do a great deal of the work in changing a film's tone or style. You only have to put some scary music over a funny scene, or funny music over a scary scene, to see how this works. So often people enjoy taking one genre of film and re-editing it to make it look like a completely different one. Whichever method you decide to try, you can begin experimenting by cutting up the clips and putting them next to each other, and see what sequences appear. One of the best ways to make characters from different films look like they are looking at each other is to match their eye lines. This is usually when a character is looking off screen at somebody else. If you look for similar shots or situations, you might indeed find that some eye lines basically match, and it looks like that one character is looking at another. This is normally when characters are looking in opposite directions off screen. In my Brosnan vs Craig card game, amazingly all the looks that they both give their opponents seem to also work when the scenes are recut so that they are facing each other. You will of course be reliant on what footage you have and don't have. Unless you get really clever and start creating your own footage, you can only use what's in the films. This is why Pierce Brosnan had to win the card game against Daniel Craig because there was footage of Craig both winning and losing, but there was only footage of Brosnan winning. 
Sometimes you might have to cheat a little bit with eye lines to get them to work. In the footage I used for my Austin Powers vs Sean Connery mashup, Austin was actually facing screen left, the same direction as Connery. So in order to make it look like they were looking at each other, I decided to horizontally flip all the shots of Austin Powers so that he was looking screen right. Now it suddenly looks like he's looking at Connery, and the scene makes sense. So you may need to try something similar if the eye lines don't match. Once you have your characters locking eyes, the next trick is to get them to talk to each other. See if there's any dialogue that would make sense when intercut between the two different films. This can work particularly well for any characters speaking on the phone, because obviously they're going to be in different places anyway. The dialogue that works the best for scenes where characters are talking to each other of course doesn't have music behind, and this can be quite difficult to find, because you won't be able to remove the music from the film. Anything where one character says something that could specifically apply to another character from a different film works really well. You're now going to be officially interviewed. Well, that sounds fine to me. Do you mind if I join you? I have no objections. If these experiments work, keep going and see if the conversations naturally develop. This is a great example of when you can just let an idea run away with itself. Have fun and see what happens. Once you have a scene that's working between several different films, you can then do some subtle matching to the clips to make them look like they were part of the same film. This could include changing the colours or the aspect ratio. Work out which film is easier to change to look like the other one. For me, it was easier to make The Shining look like the Grand Budapest Hotel. Grand Budapest is mostly shot in a narrower aspect ratio and has a distinctive pinkish colour tint. Therefore, I decided to crop down The Shining footage and add that same pinkish colour grade to match Grand Budapest. Sometimes you can add more subtle changes to footage. For my Casino Royale 60s spoof trailer, I added a lot of dust and grain and scratches to make the film look older, and match a few shots of lower quality footage from the actual 60s trailer which I also included. As soon as it's hard to spot the joins between the different elements, you've done a good job of matching them. Now most mashups are simply into cutting shots from different films, but for the visual effects wizards among you, you can take this a step further, and create your own shots where you combine different elements from different films in the same frame. Now I think some people might consider this cheating and not necessarily a straight mashup, but it probably comes down to what your definition of a mashup is. The Star Wars and Moonraker mashup was probably the video where I had to create the most new shots using elements from both films. This was because the space station set in Moonraker actually looked very different to the Death Star, and while the idea worked on paper, it soon needed more and more trickery to make it look like these were the same place. I soon realised that certain key shots that I would need to tell the story didn't actually exist in Star Wars and I would need to create them. I did these as simple compositions in After Effects with a lot of masking, and they're so quick that nobody really notices. So this is just another example of how you can alter footage to tell your story. Once you've got your edit to a point that you're happy with, the finishing touch, as usual, is sound design. Sometimes you can find some quiet ambient noise from one of the films to actually add under the scene to make it feel more coherent, or find your own background ambience from a sound effects library. This can help tie the whole thing together, and before you know it you have a sound design for a film that never actually existed. Finally, you can use Photoshop to recreate some of the graphics from one of the films, and again, this will help it look nice and consistent. So as you can see, you can get as creative as you want mixing and matching clips from different films, but I think the best mashups are rooted in coherent storytelling. Ask yourself, would somebody believe they were the same film if they hadn't seen either of them? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a go, tell me what you think in the comments, and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. I have been Steve from Unexplored Films, and I'll see you next time.